Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. I wanted to do a really quick video before I went into church today about losing sleep over problems that we have and why do we lose sleep over problems that we have. Um, we're stressed out, we're worried, we're afraid um, when we're in certain situations and why are we letting these things stress us out? I mean Christians, I'm talking to Christians, spirit-filled Christians. Um, we all have problems. We all have things that we actually um, have to, you know, deal with in this world. Uh, the Lord Jesus, hey, uh, the Lord Jesus actually said that we are going to have tribulations. We're going to have things that happen in this world, but he said actually to be of good cheer, you know, have good cheer, and also to have peace in him because we are believers but my question that I wanted to thank you for the uh, the like. Um, my question I wanted to ask is why are we losing sleep over problems? Um, like when like what I was thinking about this morning is every single time that I was stressed out about something, every time I was worried about something, every time that I was afraid about something. It turned out to be a waste of my time, a waste of my emotions, a waste of my focus, a waste of the time that I focused on that issue. Because guess what? The majority of the time, what I was afraid of never happened. Never happened. I remember I used to have a fear of flying, fear of getting on planes fear of actually fly, uh, driving over really, really high bridges that were really, really high. And do you know what? Every single time I got on that plane and there was turbulation or, you know, uh, uh, anything like that, I was, I mean, this fear would come over me. Hello, man of God. This fear would come over me and I would be afraid uh, that the plane might crash the whole flight. The whole flight. I did not get a chance. I didn't have peace. I wasn't happy. I didn't have joy. I didn't get a chance to enjoy the none of the flights because I was so focused on what if the plane crashed? What if, you know, what if something happened? And so this fear, what it did, because I was uh, focused on that, it robbed me every time I got on a plane it robbed me of peace it robbed me of my peace it robbed me of my joy it robbed me of my happiness for the period that I was on that plane whether it was like 30 minutes 40 minutes that whole entire time that fear robbed me from peace I could have had I could have been relaxed on there and I could have been focusing on the Lord on there, but I didn't focus on the Lord. I didn't focus on anything positive. I just let the fear of the plane might crash consume me. Let's see. Okay, it's connecting again. And so what I want to say when I, when I was thinking about this this morning, every time I look back at each time that I was afraid or stressed out about something, every time I look back at those times whether it was on a plane, whatever, the enemy was lying to me with the what ifs. What if the plane crashed? And I was stressed out. I was afraid. But guess what happened? The plane never crashed. The plane never crashed. It was a beautiful flight. Nothing bad ever happened. But the enemy lied to me and made me wonder what if the plane crashed. So what happened? The enemy placed doubt. The enemy placed lies in my mind. In our minds. Whenever we are focused on problems and, and, and stressed out. That's what the enemy does. He plants these lies in our mind. And it gets us to focus on that lie. What if? the plane crash? What if God doesn't come through for me? What if God doesn't protect me? What if something bad happens? And we focus on that lie, but then when we look back, we look back, I was stressed out and I was worried about that situation and nothing bad happened. Nothing actually happened. So I wasted 
my time focusing on a lie. I let the enemy, I let this lie rob me of peace. I could have had peace during that time. I could have trusted God during that time, but I didn't. I didn't trust God. I focused on the fear and I focused on the lie. So this is what I want to say, you guys. We should never lose sleep over problems. We should never focus on problems, focusing on fears, focusing on uh, whatever makes us afraid, whatever stresses us out. We should never focus on those things to the point where it makes us afraid. It makes us um, lose our joy. It makes us lose sleep. We're not able to have a good time. It steals that. If we're focusing on stress and all of those things to the point where it takes our peace and it takes our eyes off of God, the enemy is robbing us. Because I promise you, when you look back at that situation, maybe the next day, you're going to see I was focused on a lie. Nothing bad happened. God came through for me. God was there for me. So I was focused on this thing. I was focused on this lie. And nothing bad happens. And when we are Christians, you guys, we're believers. So we know the truth. We know we can trust God. When we're on that plane, we're in a bad situation. You know, we know that we can actually trust God. We know that deep down inside of our spirit. We know God is perfect. We can trust him. He's going to protect us. He's going to take care of us. He's going to provide for us. Deep down inside, we know that. We know that. But we allow the enemy to come inside of our minds and place that doubt. Place that doubt there. And what that doubt does... It takes our focus off of knowing God, knowing that we can trust him, knowing that we should feel safe to fear, to panic, to stress, you know, and all of that stuff. So that lie, that doubt takes our focus off of God and places it on that lie. It places it, places it on the enemy. Now, this is what I want to kind of, this is what I want to kind of help you guys to see how the enemy does this with us. The way he does this with us is he uses that doubt. So let's say if you know the truth, let's say if you know the truth, we all know the truth. We know we can trust God. We know God loves us. We know all of these things deep down. We know that's true. Number one, right? Now what the enemy does, he will take that truth. You know the truth, but cause you to doubt it. Now let me, let me ask you guys a trick question. I'm going to ask you a trick question. Okay. This is a trick question. Now think about it. It's a trick question. What is one plus one? What is one plus one? What is that? Okay. Now think about this. What I did, I told you that I'm going to ask you a trick question. So think about it. Anytime someone asks, asks you a trick question, what do you automatically think? Okay, it's going to be something that's going to be like a trick. They're, they're, they're going to try to trick me in some type of way, right? You know, normally trick questions is something that you may think the answer is this, but it's actually something else. It's like a trick. So by me saying, I'm going to ask you a trick question, then that trick question was, what's one plus one? So what it's going to do in your mind you're going to automatically say one plus one is two, right? But then you're going to say it's a trick question. So maybe one plus one isn't two. It's going to bring doubt because I'm telling you it's a trick question. So that trick question is going to trigger something in your mind to put some type of doubt when you know one plus one is two. You know it down deep. That's what we've been taught in school. But when I add that it's a trick question, it's going to make you doubt. Is one plus one actually two? Because this is a trick question. So let me think about it. It's going to cause doubt. So that is what the enemy does with us. We know we can trust God. We know God is going to take care of us. We know he's going to provide every month. But if we lose our job, something bad happens. All of a sudden, we're stressed out, wondering how these bills are going to get paid. 
we know we can trust God to take care of them, but we forget about that at the time and we get stressed out about the bills because that doubt has been planted in our minds. What if God doesn't come through this month? What if God doesn't protect my kids? What if God doesn't take care of me? What if I'm on this plane and it crashes, you know? And us focusing on that doubt, knowing the truth. We know the truth inside. We know it. But we focus on that doubt. It causes us to believe that lie and focus focus on that lie and not focus on the truth. So what I want to say is don't lose sleep over your problems. Even if it's a real problem, it's not a lie. It's actually something that's really going on in your life. In John 16, 33, I want to pull up the scripture, but if you have your Bibles, read that. The Lord Jesus is comforting his disciples because he is going to leave soon. But he's telling them that, you know, they are going to have tribulations. They're going to have times where it's going to, it's going to be really, really rough. I mean, they had it really, really rough, but he told them, you know, um, to be of good cheer. He didn't want them to focus on the bad part. He said, be of good cheer. And the reason why the Lord Jesus told them to be of good cheer, to be happy, because he says, I have overcame the world. Jesus overcame the world. So you know what that means for us? Because Jesus has overcome the world. He has given us authority and dominion here on this earth. So we can overcome things too. We can overcome the enemy also. So we can be happy in, you know, when we're in situations, trials and tribulations and problems and things things that's going on, we can actually have peace and we can actually be happy in those situations because we can overcome it. We can overcome it. Like I said, when I look back at all those times when I was on the plane, when I was on the plane, and I was stressed out. I was worried, thinking that the plane was going to crash. When I look back, I see that I overcame that. The plane didn't crash. I overcame that fear. I overcame that problem. It wasn't a problem. It was a lie. But I overcame it. It never happened. So if you see your problems now as, you know, I can overcome this. So I don't need to focus on the negative thing. When I look back, you know, next week, I'm going to look at it like, why was I stressed out about that again? God took care of it. God handled it. I wasted my time focusing on it. I wasted my emotions being stressed out. I wasted valuable time that you could have had peace. You could have been happy, but you wasn't. You was miserable. Okay? Focus on overcoming it, knowing that you're going to overcome it. God is going to help you overcome it. So you don't have to let it uh, make you lose sleep. You don't have to focus on it. You don't have to let it steal your peace and rob you of your joy either. You can have joy in it. You can be at peace in it. Like the Lord Jesus, you can sleep while there is a storm going on. You can sleep while there is a tornado right in front of your house. You can still sleep. Build up your faith. Don't be the like the disciples, you know, with little faith. They were just totally stressed out when the storm came. I mean, they thought they were going to die. Just like being on that plane, thinking that the plane is going to crash. You think you're going to die, but God is with you and he wants you to rest because you're not going to die. You're going to look back and you didn't die. You're still alive. So you're just wasting that. Just focus on, you know, the positive and try to strengthen your faith in those situations. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to do this. I was thinking about that today about how we let, uh, problems steal our peace it steals our joy in that moment and then when we look back it was a waste of our emotions nothing bad happened we didn't die i mean it wasn't worth that we could have had peace we could have relaxed we could have focused on god so um i hope you guys are having a great day and i just want to encourage you guys Try not to focus on the problem. Uh, Read John 16, 33, and that is for you. When you're going through problems, you're in any kind of situation where the enemy is going to try to get you not to focus on God and just totally focus on your problems and 
not have any joy or any peace in those situations, read that. Jesus has overcome the world, so you can overcome and will overcome the problem and the enemy. You just got to focus on the right things. You can't focus on the lie. You can't focus on the problem. You got to have peace and you got to have joy. You got to be a good cheer, okay? All right, so bless you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go. Bye.